Hello everyone, this is Roy Kim. I made programming blog UI and I would like to share this code to other developers. The first row is show the section category. And if you touch each button, change the background color. And second row shows the feature item of the blog. I added three items and the index changed automatically every four seconds. Then third row is popular materials. If touch each item, move to the URL. Like this. I have my personal programming blog, so I connected the blog URL. I added URL to all of items to my YouTube channel. Something like that. Absolutely, on Android, it works same. Same design, same function, same action. Move to the URL. That's it. Then let's see the code. I made a Dart file, the name is data. I added each data and I made the program section class. Each item has image name, title, subtitle, and URL. The feature section list for the feature and popular material horizontal list is for third row data. And lastly, the normal material list is for last list. I added all of the image file in image folder. And I added two packages the smooth page indicator and URL launcher because I would like to show the dynamic indicator for page view. So when open the app, start timer to move page view index automatically. This is move the page view index automatically every four seconds. And when touch each item, move to the URL address and show the web page. This is title subject. And second list is the section. And third row is feature item page view. And this is called page view indicator. And divider and popular materials title subject. And popular material list. Each scroll direction is horizontal. And lastly, just normal item. 
you can use list type, but I don't like list type because it's really hard to make customize the list. Each list pass the data to widget and make a UI using that data. I will show you how to download it and install it. I will leave the download URL in the YouTube content then you, you can go to the link and download that project and unzip it. Open the Android then indicate that project. Go to puffpack.yarn file, then click popcat. This button. After finish it, wait a few seconds. These error messages will be disappeared after a few seconds. Then you can learn or debug it. And you can see the project screen like this video. That's everything. Please leave any comment about the project. I will reply about that. I really appreciate if you subscribe my channel and like this video. Thank you very much. Bye bye. And I will be back to live streaming. Bye.